Okay, hello again, folks. Um, done with the uh, Topps Chrome box break. Onward to the next uh, box break. This is an interesting one. Uh, Topps Premier Gold 1718. Of course, a lot of uh, bad press uh, with regards to this product because uh, the autograph checklist is uh, honestly quite horrid. There are only two reasons why I'm uh, having a go at this product. For two reasons only, all right? Because uh, the uh, base set, I think it's worth completing because uh, I think Topps Premier Gold really totally changed the design and layout of the base card this time around compared to, you know, uh, the last two editions of this uh, Topps Premier Gold product. The design has totally changed, uh, you know. And of course, the second reason is because looking at the checklist, there's obviously one player that I would really love to hit, and that's Ben Woodburn. So that's basically like his uh, rookie autograph, if you want to think about it this way. All right, so my first ever box break of uh, this product. So maybe I will do a little bit of a you know product review as well, giving some comments on the uh, design and the uh, and the layout. You know. So wait a minute, it's five cuts per packet, so really there's no point in me cutting up the packs to retain the you know the shape. Uh, I'll just throw away the packs at the end because five packs uh, five cuts in a pack, really that doesn't make it a very thick pack anyway for me to store cuts to mail out to you know buyers. Okay, so here we go. And right away they just really love to put, you know, the autograph cards either right at the top or right at the bottom, you know. For top, uh, for Topps Chrome, they like to put the autograph hits right at the bottom of the stacks. Right off the bat, maybe you'll find the second autograph hit in, you know, right, right in the second pack. Uh, this, however, is not a new hit for me. I've actually gotten him last year in Hong Kong. Uh, yeah, his autograph is really simple with a huge uh, S, uh, you know, squiggle towards the end. Casper Schmeichel, of course, son of uh, Peter Schmeichel. Premier League winner, uh, nonetheless. This is a Leicester hit. There are two Leicester hits uh, in the autograph checklist. One is of him. The other, I believe, is uh, Ilenacho. Of course, on loan from Man City. Uh, wait, this is not a uh, numbered card. Base autograph. This is one of the good things about this product. In terms of the autograph issue series, I think the layout and the design is quite nice this time around. I mean, they don't do it like the uh, last two versions of Topps Premier Gold whereby they just uh, use the same design as the uh, base card and then just have a little bit of a white out uh, in, in the in the bottom lower bottom section so that you can just paste the sticker over it. You know, it, it's a totally different card to the one that you're going to get from the base in terms of the design so they are really making a clear distinction between what is base and what is base autograph so I think that's a good touch but still the checklist could have been better I think everyone has that same verdict all right Casper Schmeichel wait let me just get the focus on so what do you know first pack autograph hit right away let's hope for a new autograph hit in the uh, second in the second autograph, all right. There are obviously some new hits besides uh, Ben Woodburn that I would love to get. Uh, for example, Ilenacho I've not never gotten before. Let's see who else. I can't remember already, but these are the, really the two guys I really want to hit: Ilenacho and Ben Woodburn. Uh, Kasper Schmeichel, on the other hand, well, I've gotten him in person before, but uh, in terms of uh, autograph hits from Tops or Panini, this is my first. Okay, uh, onward to the. Uh, base card so as you can see uh, the normal base card has the uh, white sash uh, in the background so this is the normal base card the uh, parallels of course would have different colors on the sash on the diagonal sash so over here this is the red parallel Michael Merino uh, of course the parallels are not numbered just another variation to the base set really uh, in terms of design, like I say, it, it's a totally different design from uh, the ones you see in, you know, the last two versions of the uh, Topps Premier Gold. And I think they borrowed this design, I, I, I think either from one of the baseball products or from, uh, I, I've seen such a design before as well in one of the uh, Topps WWE products as well. I think it's uh, there now forever. 
2017. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right. So there we go. I think there are about 150 uh, base cards to complete, which I think it's not going to be possible this time round uh, to uh, complete from just one box. Oh wait, I should have just torn the pack rather than just cut it, isn't it? All right. And of course, uh, you have this team leader uh, shiny foil uh, insert. B basically, I think uh, the players featured under this subset will be the uh, captains, which explains the name of the uh, insert series called Team Leader. So this insert should feature all the captains. Uh, Non-numbered as well. But I, again, I think uh, in terms of the uh, design, pretty nice. I honestly think in terms of design, this is uh, definitely an upgrade. I, I, I do quite like the design. I mean, after I now looked at it, uh, you know, on card. Starting to grow on me. But really, uh, if they had improved the uh, autograph checklist a little bit more, you know, include guys like, uh, oh, well, maybe more Liverpool players. Wait, let's just tear it. Or maybe a new Chelsea name because you see Gary Cahill's autograph all the time. You know, maybe a new Chelsea player or maybe Eden Hazard because he has been featured in the Tops product for a long, long time already. Another uh, one of those um, inserts. Terrace hero Lauren Kashani, of course, nursing a long-term injury. Won't be coming to Singapore uh, this coming July. Well, a uh, Right away, I'm seeing some duplicates already. I think I hit him in the first pack, isn't it? Bakayoko. Okay, let's go a little bit faster now. Now that you've seen some of the uh, shiny inserts. Of course, uh, it would be lovely to hit some colored parallels of Mohamed Salah. Obviously, best player in this uh, recently concluded Premier League season. Terrace hero of uh, Peter Crouch. So you don't get your um, colored parallels in every pack. Maybe one in every, I don't know, what's the ratio here? Okay, a green is coming up. And this is a Man U player, Antonio Valencia. Rest up base. But honestly, now having a feel of the cards, uh, it, it's obviously of a glossy feel. Or it, it's really slick and uh, smooth right if, if you can see it from the reflection of the card it, it's of a oily glossy surface which means uh, maybe it's not quite an ideal card to use you know for those uh, autographs that you're going to get a place to sign on the card because if it's an oily slick glossy surface sometimes you're going to see a lot of streaks in your uh, pen ink so there you go so if you ever want to get uh, these cards autographed in person, make sure you at least wipe off the surface, make sure it's not as oily or glossy, so that at least uh, much of the pen ink is going to hold on the surface of the card. Is this another? No, it's another shiny. Oh, this is Premier Elite. Another one of those uh, shiny inserts. I think there are quite a few uh, insert sets in this product compared to Top Scrum. Top Scrum only has about two to three uh, insert sets. I think this one offers a lot more. And their insert cards are really nicely designed, I have to say. Another red parallel, Ndolo Kante. Come on. Give me a Ben Woodburn. And I think this will be a pretty good box. Nathan Redman, uh, green parallel. Oops. Of course, uh, not caught up for the Spanish national team, despite making a big money move to Chelsea. And in his place, uh, Iago Aspas, all right, former Liverpool reject, got caught up instead. So just how ironic is that? Ooh, this is a nice one, a yellow parallel, bright yellow. Uh, Andre Ayew. Bad about the player though, would would it make a really nice uh, card if it's a Mo Salah or Kevin De Bruyne? Of course, Kevin De Bruyne is in this product as well. Surprisingly, team leader 
Stephen Davis. And one of those uh, shiny Captain cards. Uh, red parallel, Matthew Ryan. Uh, did quite well in the uh, Brighton game against Liverpool. If it won for him, it could have been easily 5 to 6 nil instead of 4 nil. Right yellow parallel again, uh, Loso, Jonas Loso. Come on, where's the uh, second autograph? Bit? Don't tell me it's right away at the bottom. Uh, Terrace Hero Sam Vokes. Of course, we might see him in the MLS next season. Another Terrace Hero, Matt Ritchie. So Matt, uh, no, uh, Team Leader and Terrace Hero seems to be the common um, insert cards in this uh, particular product. So there you go, base card of the uh, Premier League's uh, player of the season as well as top goal scorer Mo Salah. What a season he's having. So here's hoping that he can score at least um, one or two more this Sunday rather this Saturday. Okay, autograph hit right at the bottom. I'm not sure who. This time around they are hiding the card right at the bottom. But it has been revealed already. Let me try to break up this pack so that I don't damage the card. I uh, should have just cut it out. Okay, let's just review it like this. Oh no. Maya Yoshida. But to be honest, I think this is the best ever looking autograph I've ever seen of him. He was actually signed in person for me when Japan was here for the uh, what was that Asian Cup or World Cup qualifier against Singapore. Signs a lot simpler than this uh, in person, but when he's signing for tops, this is a much better looking autograph. Although such a big sticker, but it makes his autograph so much smaller. So disappointing box at the end because no new additions, no Ben Woodburn as well. And it's dismembered. Oh. But the Casper Schmeichel is nice. You know, that one I think has a little bit of value in it. Premier League winner going to the World Cup as well. I think both of these guys are going to the World Cup. Alright. So that's about it autograph wise. What else is there to expect? Maybe some nice colored parallels to end the box. Come on. Give me like a red or green or a yellow mosala. Well, not quite. I think two boxes to three boxes should just be about enough to complete the base set. But uh, obviously, I would want to wait a little longer for this uh, product to drop in terms of price now you're still getting it at about 80 us a box which is still a little bit too expensive for my liking so come to think of it now there's a little bit of a bias regret because uh, select soccer uh, 17 18 has also dropped to 80 us so i should have ordered select soccer rather than this on hindsight okay this will be a nice one to make up for the box premier elite sadio mani of course uh hopefully he can uh, cherish his chances uh Come this Champions League final, he has been pretty wasteful in the last few games. There were certain times he could have passed to a better position player, but he chose to take on the chance himself and he just bottled it. But again, like I said, the uh, inserts cards are really nice. Because in the last uh, Topps Premier Gold product, you don't see shiny uh, inserts. You know, the inserts are just basically uh, non-shiny cards that look different from the base cards. But that's just about it. Another one, Terrace Hero, Casper Schmeichel. So this is a Casper Schmeichel box here. Okay. 
Okay, last three packs. Come on. Give me some good numbered parallels to end the box. Uh, Johnny Evans. Captain Card, Team Leader. Gigi Wijnaldum. Sorry, Jeannie Wijnaldum. Okay. Another Terrace Hero, uh, Wilfred Zaha. Of course, we've been linked with him for quite a while already. Not sure how that link came about because, uh, honestly, not a player that I'm really keen on. A little bit of sound. A green. Let's do it. Okay, Chris Brunt. So there you go. So you have seen all the uh, insert parallels. A lot of really big players. Anyone noteworthy? Possibly just Kante. The rest are really just, you know, your second or third tier players. Alright, uh, yeah, basically that is all. Uh, so as far as this product is concerned, uh, well, maybe I'll just give it a 6 to 6.5 of 10. You know, based on first impressions from what I see. The saving grace is really all these uh, inserts cards because they're really nicely designed. Nice shiny look to them. Uh, the autograph cards also look pretty nice. A pity about the uh, checklist though. So to summarize, my hits were Kasper Schmeichel and Maya Yoshida. Alright. So that's about it. So I'll see you next time for other box breaks. See you then.